In this video, we'll talk about tips to help you wake up early. Fret not, for when you aren't capable of changing your mood swings about the early mornings, you can simply resort to the sneaky tricks. There's always another way to do things when you can't change, and that's to change your surroundings. Everything around you affects the way you sleep and the way you wake up. No matter what you've got in your room, even if it's a book, it affects your sleep. That's why the room you sleep in has to be the perfect environment for restful and fulfilling hours of slumber. There are many parts of your room you must focus on. Is that the right room to sleep in? Or are you surrounded by distractions that are going to keep you up? Where's your bed located? And is it really the most comfortable place to have it? Ask yourself some questions to better your own sleep and always keep in mind this is for a better, more relaxed morning. The following are some main contributing factors to your sleep that should be primarily addressed for better sleep results. Sleeping material. Is your bed comfortable? You may have had it for a long time, and yes, that evidently makes the bed a familiar feeling, but in truth, is it comfortable? It doesn't hurt to look around at some other mattresses in stores. You might even find something you like. It's okay to cheat on your mattress. Sometimes you need a break from sleeping on the same bulging old mattress. If you do find a new, more comfortable mattress while browsing, don't be afraid to get it. You need all the comfort in the world to get the best sleep each night for better mornings each day. Also, look at the pillow type you have. There are definitely different pillow types since everyone sleeps in a different position. Some people sleep upright, just like any proper princess would. Others tend to sleep on their sides. Some people even admittedly sleep with their face inside the pillow. There's a specific pillow for all these sleeping positions, ergonomic neck pillows and stiff pillows for strained necks. Try finding nice, fluffy, snuggly blankets to wrap yourself in or even thermal blankets to make cold nights more bearable. Keep in mind the temperature in your area as well because on some nights, mostly in summers, a blanket can be suffocating rather than comforting. Sleeping earlier. Always keep this in mind. The math behind waking up early comes from a nice long night of sleep that started early. You must give up late nights in order to pursue better mornings with an earlier, happier story to them. Anything that was once keeping you up before should now cease to happen. Any binge watching in the middle of the night shouldn't happen anymore because each 23 to 45 minute episode you watch is another hour or a half taken away from your morning. Going out for dinners or night parties, hangouts, or anything that leads you out of your house shouldn't keep you out after 10. It may seem like less fun. The night is the hour for fun, but then you have to face the consequences in the morning when you miss your daily early routine and have to cut through to the middle of your day. You also have to avoid any blue lights before sleeping that could hazardously affect your mind. What are blue lights? What color reflects the strongest in your eyes when you stare at the screen of your phone? That's unfortunately right. Electronics are the producers of blue light, which means that at night, you shouldn't be using your devices at all. Phones, computers, tablets, and even your television shouldn't be near you to tempt you when you try to go to sleep. A dark or dimly lit room with no blue lights to keep you up should be where you sleep. Use sunlight to wake up. The light around you is very important. While, as mentioned before, blue light isn't something you should be close to, natural light is. Keep your curtains open when you go to sleep so that the morning sunshine can shimmer through your windows when you wake up. There's nothing better than natural sunlight, and it'll never fail you. Even if you're feeling upset or down, you could simply stroll out into the sun. A true fact is, sunlight naturally makes everyone feel happier with sufficient vitamin D. Without the sun up in the sky, you don't feel happy at all. That's why rainy days are always the worst. Everyone hates days when the clouds cover the sky and rain on your parade because they're blocking out the sun. So if you want to wake up at the right time, no clock works better than the sun. Allow the sun to brush across your skin when the light comes through. Rise with the rest of the world and feel great when you do. For a happier morning, let the natural system wake you up. 
not the bleary alarm clock you've thrown across the table countless times. Use a friendlier alarm clock. Almost every day is another day where you want to strangle your alarm clock. Everyone can surely relate, but then again, the alarm clock is only doing its job. There are other types of alarm clocks that you can try using that might hold more successful results than the one you own today. One type of alarm clock you can invest in is a sunrise alarm clock. This alarm clock, rather than blaring you awake, will imitate the natural rise of the sun to help you rise. Set up the alarm clock to suit your timing and watch the magic as the alarm clock mimics the sunrise. Five minutes before your set time, the clock's light will start to turn on until it reaches the designated minute where it shines at full power. You can even add calming music in the background that elevates with the sunrise. You can also try waking up to music on its own rather than listening to the cacophonous repetitive beeps of typical alarm clocks. Your favorite song is a much better option to wake up to. You can also purchase an alarm clock without a snooze button. How is this a friendlier alarm clock? It isn't. You just have to wake up. Keep yourself awake. The next step after you've woken up is to keep yourself up and running, not collapsing onto the couch or dozing off over the kitchen table during breakfast. There are multiple things you can do here to ensure you're up and ready for the day. Taking a shower or at least washing your face with cold water is a good idea. The touch of cold water will ironically unfreeze your tired mind. You can also, rather than having a warm drink in the morning, kick off the day with a cool fruit smoothie to freshen up your day. Get out into the sun as soon as possible. It'll beat brooding in the dark corners of your home, hating your bed for letting you leave it. Sunlight is the right slap in the face you need to wake up and take hold of the day with your two hands. A filling breakfast and a quick warm-up will help you wake up your limbs as well. Get your day started as soon as you wake up. Not doing anything means otherwise you're practically singing yourself a lullaby. As soon as you get up, your pre-planned day should commence to at least keep yourself occupied. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.